Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. What's up guys, we're taking drives. I'm back here today uh, to work on the Camaro. I got Eric here and some people to help out. Uh, so, a couple things we gotta do. Uh, first thing is change that rear valence out. I hate the way it looks so far. Uh, so we're gonna go to a quad tip. So if you have a dual tip Camaro and you wanna go to a quad tip, uh, this is basically that video for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So one thing I uh, don't like and I mentioned earlier was this stock rear valence piece. My car did not come with the NPP, which is like the uh, loud mode or quiet mode and stealth mode exhaust version. So I don't really need the, uh, the actuators and stuff. So this would be a good upgrade for me. But if you're like that and you don't want, you, you already have just the dual mode exhaust, you uh, have a couple different options. Uh, the first option is you could either trim the stock piece. <clears throat> so you could trim this to fit the other exhaust, but it kind of looks like trash. The, or you could buy one of these. I bought this one on Amazon. It was uh, made by a company, I think it's called Apex um, Composites or something like that, ACS. I'll put a link in the description below. But it fits the, uh, the quad exhaust and has kind of this diffuser and it's also gloss black, uh, which I don't like the way that this uh, kind of, I don't know. What do you call this, Eric? Junky, plastic. Very, uh, yeah, very cheap and plastic cheap looking. Cheap plastic look. Yeah, I hate that. So. With this switch, I'll get the quad exhaust and remove this piece, so it should be a worthwhile upgrade. I still don't know why you're working around this right here. You're just, it's just a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> well, it's not. Which, which, by the way, Andy, we should share the sad news of what happened between takes. Some more right there. For sure, shad. Scratches. This is springtime in Texas every year, just super windy. Andy, why are you working in the leaves? He just dropped the screw. I don't understand how it went away. Look at my dad helping. Oh, Your dad will find. Did you find it? Oh, <laughs> Come on, dude. dude, dad's dad's always. I don't know how they do that. You could make a screwdriver without. Yeah, dude. Why are you using that little candy ass screwdriver? That's like, what are you working on sunglasses over there? <laughs> This is car stuff, bro. <laughs> Andy, this is making me sad right here. Uh, all right. <laughs> Andy, reach in my toolbox and put the... T wow, it's so much easier with a drill. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Every day, once a day, give yourself a present. Don't plan it, don't wait for it, just let it happen. Could be a new shirt at the men's store, a cat nap in your office chair, or two cups of good hot black coffee. Like this. The present. Like Christmas. Man, I just added like another hundred horsepower. At least. At least. Now we gotta do something about that. We gotta fill those gaps if there's only something that we had. I feel like there's a joke there. Fill them? Yeah. Filling gaps? Yeah. It's the best way to do things. It's what we do. Yeah. All right, we did it. But it's not that easy, or at least it wasn't for me. It's probably easy for most people who have a lift and uh, have worked on a car that's been made in the last 40 years. But uh, this one, we finally got it on, but uh, there's a lot of clips under there that are really hard to get. So we did the old pull and pray tactic, which uh, mean a few different things. But uh, in this particular instance, once you get the side clips out, you just kind of yank on it and the rest of them just start popping out, which worked out fine. And there it is, in all its glory, without the quad exhaust on there yet. But it's in. 
So that's what's next. And that's that's what's next. Quad exhaust. That's quad exhaust. Let's do it. You ready? Let's cut. <laughs> You can, there's a huge pinch bend in this stock exhaust that's like really uncomfortable to look at. Wow. And uh, <laughs> are you filming this? Yeah. Nice. So like, yeah, if you look right there. It's, it's a inception. It's a carception. It's a carception. Yeah. Come on. Anyway. Yeah. It's, it's, you'll no pull it out whenever. Yeah. Channel. Huh? What? Yeah, nobody watches this. Yes. Nobody's gonna see it. No. There's like gonna be what like. What you say about pulling out? Two of my 26 family members and one friend will. Well, you'll watch it, right? You watch. I'll it. probably end up editing this you'll thing. Probably, you'll probably watch. It's it. the only way anyone will get to see it. Yeah, I know, right? Wow. How realistically did you think about this whole process that you were gonna be able to just get your car like, <laughs> a, not even like the back wheel's still on the ground? That's like a stock Subaru height. Yeah, rally car style. That's what I'm saying. Like you. No, that's just like a stock Subaru. Like realistically, what? Did, how did you think you were gonna squeeze under there to cut out Cadillac converter? <laughs> oh, without using the jack, or with that? Even with that, you think you? Oh, I can do that? get in there. Oh yeah. Okay. I've been in tighter places before. This was a bitch, not gonna lie. Laying on your back, cutting this off. I don't wanna do it again, but we got it loose. So I'm gonna pull it out of the hole. Hey, do some deadlifts, bro. Work your legs. Yeah, yeah. No one likes chicken legs. So you just like this, right? And then you like, bam. Yeah, hey, but that's don't... a good deadlift. I'm not a good deadlifter. Yeah, there was a lot of bending in the back there. That was, yeah, that was terrible. Look at this. Look at that. How is that even like okay to leave the factory like that? Hey, you know what? You need to find out who's dog shit in your yard and go leave this in their yard. That's true. I should do that. Yeah. You know what? It's, you know, I think, you know, the Corvette has 460 horsepower. This is 455. It's the same thing. I know why. Got it assembled, matching everything here. Now we're gonna pick it up, slide it up into that car. Pick it up. That easy. Just gonna we're just pick gonna it pick up. Pick it up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <coughs> go pick it up with your knees. Yep. There yep. you go. Just like you did. A lot of back, but it's alright. Yeah, it's purely your back. Pretty much. And you're gonna set it down, and then you're gonna crawl up under there. I do the creep up. I'm gonna see if he clean his crap up. This wouldn't be a big deal. All right, now you crawl under and I'll slide. Now I crawl in. All right, come on. Still got it going on. Big sexy. Yeah. Big sexy. You still do it for me. Big sexy! Whoa. Yeah. Wow. I yep. love his intensity. That's like it. Who again? That's a wrap. Is that a wrap? No, we are still got lots no, of work. We to still do, so let's get back to it. Damn. Approximately 10 hours later.
Alright boys, this has been a pain in, in the ass, but we finally finished. We haven't started up yet, we're going to do it on camera, it looks pretty amazing. Uh, so uh, let's let's start this thing, you ready? Do it. Alright. crazy long day uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video um, but there's gonna be a lot more videos of uh, various exhaust noises and stuff I know a lot of people like to see that researching new exhausts it would be a good time uh, so you can check that out um, yeah so until next time guys peace. pretty sweet you own a Texas one owner <laughs> is it? I don't know I can't oh. tell if anything you're saying is sarcasm <laughs> Uh, it's pretty sweet, you gotta take a one on her. Why is that? I don't know. <laughs>